Welcome back to Google Foods, everybody. The holidays is just around the corner, and today I am cooking a holiday roast. Check it out. For today's cook, I'm going to be taking this beautiful beef tenderloin and turning it into an incredible holiday roast. And here's how. When butchering it, it is important for you to try to keep the pieces to the exact same size. This allows you to braid it nicely and keep an even cook. Now all there's left to do is braid it and here's how. To secure the braid, I just tied it at regular knot in the end. Then I season it with salt so that I can let it dry brine overnight in my refrigerator. And remember, I always season both sides. I'm also making a basting butter that I'm going to be using throughout the cook. I started off with melted butter, soy sauce, sesame oil, mix it well and your basting butter is done. After dry brining overnight, this is what it looks like. Then I season it with black pepper and garlic powder. Now that we have the roast ready, all there is left to do is insert my thermometer and cook it up. I am going to be cooking at 250 degrees Fahrenheit until I reach an internal temperature of 120. So let's do it. We got our beautiful tenderloin roast. What do you think, my friend? What'd you do here, bro? Isn't it impressive? What is this? <laughs> yeah, it's braided. Look at that. It's kind of like uh, fancy for the holidays. Happy holidays, everybody. Happy holidays. That's right. <laughs> Happy holidays. Now, the wonderful thing about this roast is that you can cook different temperature for different people in your family. Here is more towards rare, and as you keep going farther, you see I didn't cook, I didn't cut this one yet because some family members I have like it a little bit more well done. Let's not mention any names. I mean, it's not me. I don't no, know it's not you. Yeah, 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 no, I'm saying so that <laughs> our family members don't get upset with us. Yeah. Enough talking. Are you ready to try, uh, Angel? Come on, let's go. I'm, I'm more inclined <laughs> to go that way. I know, me too. We're gonna go a little bit more rare. Because me and Angel kind of kind of like a medium rare. More towards rare for tenderloin. I really like tenderloin a little bit rare, everybody. Especially in high quality tenderloin. Come Enough on. talking. I'm talking too much. Go you, for it. You talking like crazy. Enough talking. Go. Tell me. Oh, my. <laughs> that was a really big piece. <laughs> smokiness. You feel that smokiness? That sous vide soft. Uh, the charcoal. This is awesome. Smoky flavor. 
tender, tender everybody. Do not overcook tenderloin. Please don't do it. You have to cook it a little bit rare. You cannot overcook tenderloin because if you do, you're not experiencing the meat that is supposed to be. Yeah, huh? You asked me this is the perfect way of cooking the Yeah, meat. well, I'm right here. I know some family members would like to eat that way and it's okay. We have to respect everybody's opinion. A lot of people think that it's blood. This is not blood, everybody. These are <laughs> steak juices that comes out as it's cooking. It is not blood. And I can guarantee you, if you blindfold any one of your family members and you let them try the rare part and you let them try the me the well done part, 100% everybody will go to this part. Well, this part is probably more like well done like around here, no? Mm-hmm. Right here. Say, like, this part is still, you, you can still eat this part pretty well. It's probably over here that it gets like uh Are you chewing you gum? Start, you start eating crackers, bro. Are you chancleta? <laughs> Are you chancleta, everybody? This is probably one of the top things you can cook for your holidays. There's no one in the world that won't enjoy it. Agree? Except vegans. What? <laughs> Vegans will hate it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a great presentation. If you are thinking that it's going to dry out because I sliced it and I braided, absolutely not. Very, very juicy. I definitely recommend you dry brining it overnight because as you can feel it, yeah. the seasoning is all the way through. The basting with the butter, it is incredible because as you're cooking, it just develops develops more flavor throughout the meat as you're cooking it. So I definitely recommend it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. And remember, if you're interested in anything I use, everything is in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. Are you ready to try, my champion? Yeah. I know you're ready to try. You've been asking me since I started this cook. Tell me, my friend. Oh, wow. Huh? Oh, wow is correct. <laughs> Is it soft and tender? Yeah. <laughs> tell me about it, bro. Tell me tell me what you think. Tell me. Describe it's the flavor to the audience. The softest steak I've ever ate. Really, huh? <laughs> you know why? You know what this is? Lemon yolk. Ah! This is my boy. He understand about meat already, and he's extremely young. You enjoy it? Yeah. Is this Dylan approved? Yeah. Game five. <laughs> See you on the next one, everybody. Take this care. Is, this we is out. Everybody approve. Everybody approve, on Angel. Oh yeah. <laughs> if you don't approve this one, you just don't like meat, and you are a vegetarian, right? <laughs> right, Dylan. <laughs> if you don't like this, you're a vegetarian. You agree? Mm -hmm. <laughs> See you on the next one, everybody. Tell how it is, bro. Tell Happy holidays. We out.